it was like, like they, they could just run and put it out there as a random, 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 random time, so now go to the ground. We present more ground, we talk about specific, we talk about specific policy, we talk about specific policy, we present very clear depth ground, uh, next to the education, we uh, like, no, talking about new policy is going to be better because, like, we, we, like, there's lots of literature on, on old policy, but we need to talk about this new policy and how it's going to affect the world, they talk about it affects key. I don't really say, I don't know what they're saying, they seem to be getting off in something, yeah. They don't actually provide any in-round abuse. No yeah, they, they, they do not prove in-round abuse. They don't provide any, like, theory. But even if you did buy theory for some reason, I have a high threshold for theory, because, like, theory, you have to, they have to be really abusive. Okay, the only thing, then they, uh, on the voters, they, or sorry, go to predictability. We're, we're entirely predictable. We're talking about these foundations. We're, we're talking, like, we're, we're talking about the resolution. We, we're just getting specific policy in the resolution. They only mention parents' education at, at, at a very low level. They talk about, they don't talk about this off your right? This means that you're going to have to get a whole bit of a high threshold because the bill doesn't make the arguments in the next week about fairness and education are relevant. Um, okay, talk about immigration reform. The GOP, the, okay, the GOP will continue supporting education or uh, immigration reform because they lost that Hispanic vote by like 70 or like, like uh, by a large majority. They realize that if they have to have immigration reform, it's going to kill the entirety of their JCA. Um, or, uh, or it has to specifically said that the, the uh, Marco Rubio specifically said that they're going to do this. It's going to be good for their constituency because specifically Marco Rubio, like, specifically Marco Rubio is like, what needs GO, GOP. Uh, he's going to support. Furthermore, um, Obama's not working with Congress. Congress in the current uh, in the current system. You can just look at the sequester. He's going to work with Congress. He's going to let this will lead to like, like lead to an actual sequester um, compromise. But this is not happening. Obama believes that he's going to be able to have a, have a positive effect. And he uh, like does it. He goes to populist support, becomes a populist instead. Now go to their leg. First. Turn. Uh, this is going to increase biodiversity because there's, there's going to be a cleaner, there's going to be cleaner water, water which is going to lead to better biodiversity for the, for the, for the, for the relevant uh, species. The species involved also turn. This is going to clean water is going to be good. It's going to be good for uh, reproductive constituency, especially, especially since like there's not clean water. There's not clean, clean water in the vast majority of Florida, and they, like people like clean water. It's, it's increasing their quality of life. Like we said, this is a turn. It's going to be good for the constituency. Yeah. Um, and there's no appearance that the thing is that the, that the GOP is going to backlash. Yeah, the, they keep meeting with yeah, us on all of these. There elections. are no appearance that the GOP is going to backlash. They have lost the election. They need to get votes, and they need to pass their, they need to support their constituency. It is almost irrelevant, like what they believe, because they need the votes. That's going to be the number one thing. Next argument, uh, next argument is turn. This is, uh, the Democrats are going to be more united because the majority of the people like them. Like no, the vast majority of Democrats like like desalinization, like creating better clean water and a better, better quality of life for the middle class. That's what they advocate for. Furthermore, uh, also turn this is going to increase. Uh, green groups are going to donate more to the Democrats, which is going to give a higher likelihood of uh, winning 2014 elections, especially true because lots of Democrats are, are up for the re-election in the 2014 election, which means that the Democrats are going to be more united. The functions of the term, we get all the impacts. Now go to immigration. They say high school workers. Uh, okay, this happens anyway. We're still going to get high, uh, high, uh, high, high level workers. That like We have a laws that are being implemented in the status quo, and we have laws that are, that are in Congress right now about high school workers. The GOP is even supporting this. It's going to happen anyway. Um, also, they, they, they talk about um, runaway global warming churn. High school workers are going to work for chemical companies such as uh, the Dow Chemical that are increased going to increase global warming. This is good. Like, the, the, we're, yeah, we're guarding our impacts. We're guarding the global warming impacts. The high problem, like, we, we win this. Also, churn like high school workers, uh, or sorry, high school, yeah, that's not true. Okay. Also, uh, churn high school, or high tech companies contribute to global warming. Like, Apple is a huge contributor to global warming. They get people from China, and these Chinese companies believe. Also, they talk about immigrants are going to lead to start, uh, startups and increase economy turn. This is uh, going to take jobs away from U.S. citizens. This is actually going to be really bad for the U.S. and this is going to increase U.S. unemployment, which is going to keep, which is going to keep the impact of this. This is going to kill the U.S. economy. The unemployment does that means that working in the world economy is going to destroy the world economy, leads to destruction of the world economy. Also, they say the economy should keep the military readiness turn. This is uh, U.S. hedge back. U.S. U.S. hedge money is really bad. The imperialism is going to lead to the domination of other groups and destroy the value of life to zero point the Holocaust. And you can just take Iran and Iraq as an example. We uh, have had terrible effects on Iran and Iraq. And, uh, and if we continue to be so if we have a military, if we have a military, we're more likely to use the military, especially true when like Obama, like, all these officials have been pursuing joint strikes and don't no one likes to increase tax base support for him. It's also true with, with Afghanistan, like we're, we may continue to be in Afghanistan, we have a larger military, we're more likely to be in Afghanistan. Good case. Good case. Okay. First. They talk about non-unique how other countries are going to be doing this, like like Korea. But the fact is, we like we stated in the POC how they're how they're not focused on this. Like they're, they're really not focused. They're, they're really not focused on this. Or they, they they're focused on high tech things, uh, like m more money making things. So the U.S. federal government, this is a situation where the U.S. federal government can be a leader in innovation, and we have the potential to do this. this is a great scenario. We, if we do this now, we're going to have a positive impact on the economy. There will be any uh, like arguments as to why this is like why not. Basically, this is not not non unique. And even if there was these companies or these other countries were doing something about it. We're still going to have a better positive effect on innovation. Yeah. Okay. Also, increased funding. They said uh, increased funding means no impact. Uh, this is this does work. This situation does work. We provide a clear link scenario in which how we're going to get to the impacts. They just try to make some weak defense arguments, but don't buy that weak defense. As long as we have a reasonable chance we're getting to our large scale, high probability impact, you're going to buy our impacts. Also, we have better. Uh, also, uh, let's see. They, they say the U.S. has had better. In, uh, or sorry, they, they they say their case is better innovation because they talk about uh, high tech innovation, cross apply deterrence. We get offense, and we do a better innovation via 
our desalinization, the desalinization methods are an internal link to a lot of other uh, innovative policies and funding the universities means that this is a high likelihood that desalinization is going to happen, which means that it's going to spur other innovation. We made this clear in our advantage. Um, also, they, they, they say that um, it's going to be done through large corporations, even if this is, uh, first of all, uh, it's not going to be done through large corporations, like the specific implementation of this policy is meant to increase middle class, uh, middle class families. Like in the case of universities, the funding goes, the funding is created and the innovation is created to go to middle class and lower class families. Universities are generally democratic, uh, non -part or nonpartisan, and like non-profit making organizations. It's going to go to small businesses. But even if, it, even if GE uh, is only one example as well, like they, they should provide better empirical examples. Even if, if large innovation or large companies do benefit, benefit from this, this is going to, the small businesses can still benefit from this and they can still get a positive effect on the U.S. economy. Uh, also, they say geocolonization takes away wa uh, salt from water. However, this is going to still make water better. It's going to still create the cleaner water, which is going to mean that there's, a, there, there's going to be positive biodiversity effects and we have a positive effect on the U.S. economy. They don't talk about how, like, they don't talk about how clean water doesn't lead to better diet, biodiversity, better impacts on the environment. This is not, this is not defense. This is, like, feeding into our advantage. Go to disease. Okay, go to disease. Okay, go to preventing disease. They have minimal defense. They, 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 they only have weak defense on the preventing disease. They don't talk about the, they, uh, the, the only thing they say is about well, water purification. It takes so long water process. Like things I, I just said. Um, we still have a strong unique scenario. There's a high probability that the terrible diseases are going to happen. The status quo. This is high probability. This is going to happen. We provide like we are solving for this. We are getting to quality of life in the United States. Even if we don't get to quality of life in other countries, we still get quality of life in the United States. That's going to be enough to get us uh, enough of a positive uh, effect on the world. Anything else you want to say? Um, you guys were saying it's um, we can also make the. Uh, um, okay, I'm just going to give you an underview. We have lots of terms. We guard all of their impacts. Yeah. Um, they have weak defense. That's all they have. On this Melinda thing, Charles Crowder okay. just said on Monday um, that the sequester is ineffectual. Okay, the, don't care the sequester is ineffectual. Republicans don't care about it. Also, on the Melinda thing, that was a rare case. Like, just that one example is not enough. Like, there were a lot of cases in which high tech worked and there was no corruption. Um, so, let me just understand the arguments coming out of the MG. So, you say that. On the advantage one, you said that desal is key to innovation, right? Um, our advantage one was innovation, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so key to innovation, yes. that means that you're trying to, that you say that desalinization is going to solve the impacts of the policy scenario, i.e., uh, like so basically like the warming stuff and the uh, competition stuff. I mean, it, it's going to help uh, global warming, but we're, I mean, turns on like turns specific to the second to the tip advantage. Okay. But yeah, it does. Um, we're saying that universities contribute to the middle class. Sorry, I think I'm being ambulance. Universities contribute to the middle class because they're nonpartisan, non uh, like they, they're not focused on making money. Like a, so they're going to contribute to the middle class. Or, and even if the corporation can make money, the middle class will benefit because some will still go to the middle class. Some All right. So it's going to be uh, T, politics, and animation. Short overview on top. Uh, I think it will help me frame it. Okay. Cool. All right, T takes. Cool. I'll talk about it. We're not going to this. They all took some reasons. There's nothing no office that could be on this piece of paper. But I'll read the rest. So they tell you that they make uh, startup 3.0 is happening, right? That's all the terms in the link. They say that they are increasing biodiversity, so Republicans like it, Rubio's going to fucking love it, all that stuff. They make all those arguments about why they're going to increase the likelihood of startup 3.0 happening. If I can win even the slightest chance they have said that startup 3.0 will not happen in this quo and they make it happen, then they have double turned themselves, right? On the impact level, they tell you that the workers are going to do awful things. Apparently, if we let immigrants into this country, they're going to like allow global warming to happen, and companies are going to do bad things. So it probably means they double turned themselves. Also, apparently, immigrants are key to hedge, and also the advantage, well, the first advantage, also apparently solves for hedge. This thing means that either way, even if we don't win that, they still like the first advantage links to the hedge bad scenario that they've already read. Probably means they have cold double turn themselves. It's game over. Those are going to outweigh any risk on the case. On, on to politics. You said the GOP is not, uh, only cares about voting. This issue probably because it's guaranteed the GOP is going to vote on this, uh, going to vote for this for the Senate right now. However, the only offense we need to win this case forever is that Obama's you know, unique story. We're going to send our argument that Obama's not working with them right now. We say that Obama's absolutely, absolutely crucial in this issue for, for a few reasons. We say that Obama having uh, Obama pushing, putting pressure on this specific issue is actually uh, going to allow him to work with uh, work with uh, Republicans and Democrats. The war for this is sequestration, right? And when he's not working with these, and when he's not working with Republicans and Democrats, he's necessarily going to. Uh, we're going to see.